Yo, this is Andrew from um, CRST Terminal, whatever. Uh, technically, I'm not really in the terminal, but I am back in California. I finished my month of training with my lead drivers, two of them. First two weeks uh, wasn't really a great time. They, they really were honest. And they so the second time, they put me out in uh, their other terminal out in... Uh, Cedar Rapids in Iowa, they're heart, the heart of the company. So from there on, I spent about a week waiting for my new teacher. And from there on, um, man, it's like hard to remember. There's too much sun. Hmm. Oh well. Um, pretty much after that, I spent basically a week more with another one, and he cut it short for my training. He said actually my training, my lessons were good. No, honestly, he, he agreed. The other guy was just being too much of a backseat driver. He may be a teacher, but it's not good for the students, I guess. Even for me, it's just, you know, cuckoo, cuckoo. But anyways, um, I went home for about five days. The company stated for us right now, you train for the, uh, you, the first month. You get first week DMV stuff, get the permit. Second week, you train at their training session or contract, whatever they wherever they teach you to drive. Third week is the orientation, paperwork, or uh, contracts, all that for the 10 month. Second month, you go out on the road again, just, well, fully, and we were doing cross country. So for me, I went from more southern states, so like Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Texas, and started going more north from Kansas, Oklahoma, all the way to New Jersey, then back to the west coast, to all the way to Oregon, staying on the north coast. We went back a couple times, back to uh, Cedar Rapids to make a couple of drop-offs. Get my new teacher from that transit. And then from there, we went back, uh, kind of back and forth for the two days. Then back uh, to Oregon to drop off. And then we went back there to Cedar Rapids and I met my new trainer. We did one load together before going home on home time. And honestly, we both were a little flat out pissed off. Cause we both wanted to go home we both were late his contract he was supposed to be home a week ago i was extended a week because i had to wait from to finish my training the lighting may not be good on the camera but that's because i'm using just the iphone it's just something simple i don't have a computer nothing and bluetooth on the iphone it's like anything i can to get a recording and just send it out to youtube i don't i want to do all the video editings i have technically the resources the phone is enough resources but I don't really want to right now because I'm being lazy trying to focus on my training once I get used to it maybe if not I'll probably keep it like this that way I can be more honest if I if it is a cut mainly the video got cut off it stops recording I gotta restart and then just stitch it together real quick so pretty much I get five days off we came back this is our second load we're only doing California state in, in uh, in city driving right now so we get a compensation drop uh, fifty dollars each so for one load maybe like 60 miles or under whatever just as long as it's in the city we get fifty dollars but we're doing the second one right now he's on his DOT 30 talking to uh, paperwork we're trying to waste his uh, paperwork the more you do this the more you understand it's really hard to I can explain it but it's very hard to explain and it, you won't understand it if I can't then again yeah, you might actually understand it better than me. But I'm actually having more fun with this guy. He's a lot more easier. Cool driver. Like if you can't find one, you're 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 screwed, sadly. You need you need you need to find a good friend, a good partner. Basically someone you can call a roommate you can get along with. <sighs> it's so good to have someone to, just someone on our levels. We're both getting a little frustrated though because we never learn how to properly park. We were taught uh, straight backing, offset backing, and parallel parking. Those three parkings. The two main ones is a 45 degree and uh, a 90 degree, which is also known, I think, as a jackknifing. So with the bobtail, me and him were able to back up very easy, even in tight spaces. With the trailer, <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> oh well. But um. I guess I talk more. Alright, you'll see some sort of special effect. I got cut off from a phone call.
you know, phones recording, and it kind of cuts off your recording time. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I said Juan's a good guy and all. It was the first time, first load, we were heading back for our home time. It was tiring. We both pissed off at each other. We None of us were taught proper backing up, which the real world is used, but we're learning now as we go along. We're taking advantage of as much space. Even today, one of the guys helped us out with um, backing up. He actually told us to get out. He actually took control of the, our vehicle. One of the workers, but he helped us out a lot. He, the only thing he wanted with us was to uh, keep an eye out for, uh, like pretty much he did this to me, just telling me to, um, yeah. He just told me to look on one side, make sure he's not gonna hit anything. So even with them, they have experience, you can tell, but you, it never hurts to have help. And just be honest, like with, just make sure to tell the person, cause like I've been with one, they demanded that you offer the help right out. And I'm guessing it's one of the older generations because he said he's been there for a long time and he's like, that's how they do it. It's not really how a lot of our generation, like my class, my whole class, we all agreed. We don't offer the help. We ask for like wake each other up no matter what. But to have someone me demanding like my first two days uh, requesting it, it's like, no, I can't. I don't know how to do it. Don't know what to do. It's never driven the company. The camera's not that good angle right now. And on top of that, bad lighting. I know that much. But anyways, I guess I'm gonna cut it short because there's really not much. I'm gonna. I just helped out my uh, partner with uh, looking up some information for her load. You gotta remember load number, payload, all that. Maybe if you uh, feel free to ask anything you want, like specifically. I'll probably try making a video or just like to explain like the payload number, Quancoms, because that's going to be a, a full, not state law, but get government law requiring it to have a computer, a little computer thing soon enough. One thing, and I'll mention it in another video when I'm more isolated, because this is all scattered about more of ideas like a journal. It's just for all you to know, it's like more, instead of being all happy going, be more honest. <laughs> I don't know. I have fun though, and I got sunburned. I got a farmer's tan apparently. Well, number one idiot is gonna be signing off. Got to keep an eye out for my partner now. Adios.